Hi everyone. Hope everybody's doing well today. And those in the path of the storm, I hope you're getting prepared and um, be safe. And let us hear from you after this is all over with. The storm came up quickly, moving quickly. So um, keep your eye on it. I uh, have a few decorating, Halloween decorating tips today. Uh, very inexpensive and fun to do. You could have the kids help you if you wanted to. Um, some are for outside, some are for inside. I have three, three today for you. And the first one is going to be real simple. Hi, Betty. Glad you could join us. Hope you're doing well. But it's been a busy week. Um, finally finished my painting. Um, it has to have a coat of acrylic, polyacrylic put on it, but um, I will post pictures of it soon. And um, been tidying up in other areas of the house, trying to straighten up. But um, let's go ahead and start with these crafts. The first craft we're going to do is a set of googly eyes and they're going to be big so you can put them outside you can hang them from a tree you can put them in the bush you can plant them in the ground but they will look like big eyes and um all i did was take two excuse me there's a gnat um two pieces of poster board pick them up from dollar tree one is going to be white and the other will be a black poster board so what you want to do this is um, 13 inches round and I cut two of them okay and then for the pupil we have two 8 inch round black ones and that's all there was to it so I'm going to put the camera down towards the workspace and you can watch me finish it up. <laughs> they already look like googly eyes, don't they? And you know your yard or your porch area, you know, if you put them up in a tree, maybe you could put the pupils down like they're looking down at you, okay? Or you could do them like cross-sided, like this. Hey, Darlene. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So what we're going to do is um, we'll hot glue this. And I should have put that hot glue on. hasn't had a chance to warm up but it won't take but just a few minutes anyway um so let's see maybe we could do this then stop by your local favorite hardware store or your favorite paint store and pick up two paint paddles that's what these are they're paint paddles and they're for the five gallon bucket. I painted them black, both of them. And what I'm gonna do is adhere them to the back side of the eyes. And that way you'll be able to put these in your bushes or in the ground or prop them up in a tree. It'll be a lot easier for you to do to set them up with that on there. Let's see if we got. And I'll show you the next one while we're waiting for this glue gun to get warmed up. I apologize for that. I didn't think ahead where that was concerned. Our next little craft is going to be this hand. And I got these ideas off of Pinterest. 
you take a Playtex glove, just the regular latex gloves, and fill it with cotton, cotton balls or gauze, something to make the fingers round, okay? Then you take wire and you insert it, and I use the floral wire because it's thin and it's very bendable. Just run your wire up into the glove. That will allow you to bend your fingers. And let's see, these little these old press-on nails, they have self-adhesive. They were real easy. Just stick them on, give them a little ring. And let's see. It's my little pot of gold right here. And he can guard the candy. How about that? Put the little spider web, spider over here. And you got a cute little setting for your table or office desk. Actually, you could get a larger one of these and put the hand <clears throat> the hand on it. Be really cute. So that was our second little craft. Let's see, and our hot glue's ready. Move this out of the way. So let's see. Let's put some glue on here. Okay. That's one. Hey, Mandy. How are you today? This is going to be quick and easy. Don't tell me my glue guns bit the dust. No, nope, here it goes. Okay. I'm just being impatient. We are making a very large set of googly eyes. And these can be put in your yard. You can put them in the bushes, up in a tree, stake them in the ground. There we go. Now we're going to turn these over, and these are two large paint paddles for their for a five-gallon bucket. Paint the other side black if you've got some black paint on hand. That will keep it from being seen. And I'm going to glue this. There we go. This one. So this is not um, an expensive little decorating idea, and you could do several of them depending on the size circles you want. Put them all throughout your yard, in the bushes, in the trees, along the sidewalk. And there we go. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. Googly eyes. <laughs> so that was quick and easy. And I probably had $3 invested, so that'll be a cute little um, Halloween decoration for the yard. So, the next one is a spider web. 
made out of a garbage bag. Have any of y'all ever seen that done? I haven't, and it was actually quite easy. I finished one, and it's a nice size, and actually you'll get two of these. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I put it on this poster board so you could see what it looks like. And a great big huge spider in the middle. But this could also be put outside. So get you a um, black garbage bag. And you'll need a pair of scissors and some tape. Painter's tape works really well for this because it comes off and you're going to want it to come off. I'm going to put the um, camera down towards the table again so you can see. This is um, a fairly nice size garbage bag. Trash, I think it's a lawn and leaf bag. And what we're going to do. It's not going to be this big when I get through with it because we're going to cut some of some of it, up, of it away. Take the bottom, lay it out on the table. And we're going to cut it. Don't have to be perfect. Just cut it straight across. All right, that's the bottom. Now you're going to cut each side. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just cutting the seam away. Okay, that's one side. Let's do the other side. Hey, Darlene. I have two Darlene's on today. We are making a spider web out of a large plastic bag. We've cut the bottom off. We've cut one, <clears throat> excuse me, one side. Now we're going to cut the other side. And this doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You're just wanting to get rid of the seam. Because this actually will make two spider webs. I don't think I cut. There we go. Okay. Now. As you can see, this is oblong, and we're going to fold it on a diagonal. Like this. So what happens is you're going to have this part left over. You're actually going to make a square out of this bag. So I've taken folded it over. I'm going to cut this part off. This can be thrown away. Now we're going to fold it again. As you can see, we have a large triangle. I'm going to fold it again. And it makes a smaller triangle. We're going to fold it again. We have a smaller triangle. Now here's the tricky part. 
This time, we want it to be a cone. Hold on a minute. <laughs> it was a little tricky last time. Let me think for a minute. So we're going to cut it. No, that's not right. That's terrible. Can't remember my own directions. Let's see. Fold it this way. There we go. Okay, take your tip and bring it over this way, and you have a cone. There will be a little part here that's not covered. Hey, Sherry. All right, now get your tape, preferably painter's tape, because it comes off easy, or some masking tape. <laughs> I guess I'm eating my words, huh? I said it comes off easy, and I'm having a hard time getting this to come away. This has been in the drawer for quite some time. So it's probably old. So while we're taking a strip, I'm going to go ahead and get a very long piece off and I'll shorten it as I need it. So this side here where you folded the one side over, it's shaping a cone. You want to take and fold your tape and catch both sides of the plastic, the front and the back. So you're taping all of this together. Okay. All right, so we've taped that together so it'll stay while we're cutting. And on this side down here, we're going to call this the bottom temporarily. We're going to cut it up on like a slight heel. Here we go. So as you can see, it forms a little heel, a little dome shape. All right, take you a magic marker that is silver or gold, something you can see. Here we go. And you're going to mark it at least the first one an inch away from your cut. And then the next one will be like a half inch. Then you want to go another inch, half inch, inch, half inch. You're going to do this all the way down. And take your scissors. Hi, Rose. Good to see you. 
All right, don't cut the first, let's see. We're gonna cut in between the narrow ones. So where you have that inch is where you want to cut. You want to cut along your mark and then cut at the end of it. So it does this, okay? All the way down. And this doesn't have to be perfect, so don't sweat trying to cut on your line because with the plastic being as soft and pliable and it's moving all over the place, it's almost impossible to cut it directly on, on your line. So if you get close to it, that's what counts. You don't want to cut all the way through. You want to leave yourself a little lip here. Almost done. It's kind of like cutting a snowflake. Remember when you were in grade school and you took paper and you folded it and cut it and cut it and cut it in different angles? It's kind of like the same thing, only we're doing it with a garbage bag. And now you see how this is kind of like teeth here. We're going to take the tape off. Don't need it anymore. It's done its job. There we go. Now remember, this will make two. <laughs> it looks like a big spider spider web, doesn't it? <laughs> we got some of it still together. Get it all apart. There we go. You're not going to be able to make much sense out of what I got here, but I'll bring the um, poster board back up here so you can see once it's all untangled what this looks like. And there you go. So that was another inexpensive little craft you can do out of a black trash bag or leaf, lawn and leaf bag. And I think I picked up the spider at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So we've spent maybe 
six dollars in today's crafts just doing a little bit of Halloween decorating and can't forget Sherry I don't think you saw this earlier this is a glove one of the latex gloves you stuff it with cotton see there stuff it with cotton when you get it good and full take you some floral wire and this takes a little bit of time that's why I'm not um, demonstrating I'm not putting one together because it does it's a little bit tedious and a little bit time-consuming I think the um, what took the most time was making sure that all the cotton balls were stuffed in here really good and firm but take you some floral wire and just run it up into each finger you can see the wire running up that will allow you to bend the fingers in any position that you want to pick you up some fake nails don't you just dig them nails and um, that's about it a little ring you could get as fancy as you wanted to and um, my hands gonna guard the candy here you go I have a little spider around here somewhere here he is and we're gonna put this one right here probably end up hot gluing him about right there yeah or I could put him what do you think maybe right here that'd be pretty cool so there you have it I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me and um, hanging out with me with the support and all and um, we're gonna have fluid art Thursday coming up at one o'clock our usual time does anybody have any questions I can be reached at um, Magic Mix, Facebook Magic Mix, or through ChristinaHickey.com, my website. And right now, my art is being showcased at the Surf Restaurant. Go on by there and get a delicious cup of coffee. Have some French donuts. They are now serving um, beignets, or have been serving beignets, and they're absolutely awesome. They're just as good as Cafe Du Monde in New Orleans. And um, sit down, relax, have a good cup of coffee, and have some donuts. But for now, I appreciate every one of you. Hugs, and bye for now.